In this section, we'll be talking about solving inequalities. Um, now, solving inequalities is much the same as solving equations. Um, we simply isolate our variable to one side, um, getting everything else on the other side using just basic arithmetic. Um, and remember, whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other side. So let's take a look at a few examples. Let's say we're given the inequality um, x minus 1 is greater than 5. All right, so let's stop and think a minute. If this was an equation, um, x minus one equals five, what will we do to solve for x? Uh, we'd simply add one to both sides, and that would move our minus one to the other side, which gives us just an x equals something else over here. So let's go ahead and do that. So these two terms cancel. So we have x is greater than five plus one is six. Um, that's actually all there is to it. We can treat an inequality as the same as we did with an equation, um, actually in most cases. We'll look at one specific case to where we can't um, treat them the same, and uh, we'll get to that in a, in a few sections. But for now, um, we're actually using addition to solve an inequality, and we can do it the same way that we used when we were solving equations. Um, let's take a look at a few more just so we can uh, get a good handle on this. So we say we have x minus 4 is less than or equal to minus 7. Well, if we treat this as an equation, um, we would just move minus 4 to the other side and isolate our x, and we'd be done with it. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and add 4 to both sides. Excuse me, we're adding 4, not 9, to both sides. These two terms will cancel, leaving us with x is less than or equal to minus 7 and plus 4 give us a minus 3. And that's our answer. So we're solving inequalities using basic arithmetic, treating them very similar to how we would solve an equation. The next one we have is x minus 3 is less than 2. So how would we do this if it was an equation? We just move minus 3 to the other side by adding 3 to both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. These two terms cancel, giving us x is less than 2 plus 3 is 5. And that's the answer. Let's look at just a few more. Um, x minus 10 is greater than 17. Let's go ahead and subtract, or excuse me, add uh, 10 to both sides. That will allow us to cancel these two terms, leaving us with just x on the left side, greater than 17 plus 10 is 27. So solving inequal inequality should be a very familiar with us, or very familiar to us, um, because we've been solving equations for so long. So um, we're simply treating the uh, the inequality sign just as we would if we had an, an, an equal sign. So not a whole lot to it. Let's just go ahead and do a few more for practice. Um, let's see, x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 9. x minus 8 is greater than or equal to 9. So let's go ahead and move this term to the other side by adding 8 to both sides. These two terms cancel, leaving us with x is greater than or equal to 9 plus 8 is 17. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and look at one more. Before moving on, we have x minus 6 is less than or equal to a minus 6. All right, so we want to know what values of x um, are, well, we're actually looking for an interval um, the only difference in between uh, inequalities and equations is um, the answer to an inequality is an interval or a set of solutions that are a set of values that we can plug in for x to make this inequality true. So let's go ahead and add 6 to both sides. These two terms cancel. So we have x is less than or equal to. Uh, these two terms cancel as well. So x is less than or equal to 0. All right, so we're looking for um, all the values that... Um, we can plug in for x that satisfy this expression, this relationship. And in this case, it's the set of all uh, non-positive numbers. So we can, have z we can have 0 because x can be equal to 0. And then we're looking for all the negative numbers. So the 0 and all negative numbers are the answer to this, the solution set. But right now, we're just learning how to uh, um, solve inequalities. And in this case, we're do using just simple addition. Um, just like we did when we were solving equations. Um, in the next section, we'll uh, learn how to solve inequalities um, using subtraction, and that'll actually work uh, in a very similar manner. So I'll see you soon.